Good day, children. Hope you're all doing good. Yes. So, these few weeks, we are continuously seeing about grammar. And today, we are going to see about sentence structure. Before that, are you all safe at home? Are you all spending your time carefully? Yes. When you spend your time, see that God is watching you. And every time you do something, just close your eyes for a minute, pray to God and start your work. Okay, children? Yes. Let's get into today's topic. Today, we are going to see about sentence structure. Okay, children? Yes. So, when I say sentence structure, there should be types, right? Yes. Okay. There are three types. Okay. In that, we have simple sentence, compound sentence and complex sentence. Simple sentence compound sentence and complex sentence you would have already known about this so we're just going to have a quick recap of whatever we know already okay this is just a recap of what we know already before that before going into the types i'll just remind you of what we learned in the previous lesson this is important this is even important for this lesson okay children yes let's see what is an independent clause in an independent clause you have a subject a verb and an complete thought okay it is complete so independent clause can stand on its own and then we have the subordinating clause or it is also called as a dependent clause in a dependent clause we have a subject a verb and then we have a subordinating conjunction do you remember i hope you remember about conjunctions conjunctions are joining words so we have subordinating conjunction here okay what are subordinating conjunctions why is the subordinating conjunction useful in this? Subordinating conjunctions explains the relationship between clauses. Okay, they are going to explain the relationship between clauses. Like before, we have before or after. When I say before or after, we use this to ask when the incident happened or when it happened. So then we have unless and if. If I say unless and if, we tell it when we use these words only if it is a condition. Okay, for condition clause, we use unless and if. And then because. Because says why the incident happened. Whenever you have, you need to tell something, you tell it continuously and you say, because of this, I was late. Why were you late? If I'm going to ask, why were you late? I'm going to, you're going to just finish the sentence. I was late because I went to the park. Or I was late because I was stuck in the traffic. So these are few of the ways of putting subordinating conjunctions in your sentence. Okay, let's get into today's topic. Let's see the different structures and then we'll see one example for two types. That is for the simple and compound, we'll see one one example for each. And then for the complex, which is the main thing which we are going to see today, we're going to see few examples for it. Come, let's get into the lesson. Okay, first we are going to see about simple sentence. What is a simple sentence? How do I identify if it is a simple sentence or not? This is going to be a question in your mind. So when I say simple sentence, it is also called as an independent clause. A simple sentence is also called as independent clause. You already know about independent clause. So an independent clause has a subject verb plus a complete thought. It will be a complete sentence. An independent clause can stand on its own. These are few of the things that will come to your mind when you think about an independent clause. Okay. A simple sentence is also called as an independent clause. It contains a subject, a verb, and it expresses a complete thought, as I told you. Okay, okay, children. So, this is what you need to know about simple sentence. So, for example, Scott plays tennis in the morning. So, here, Scott plays tennis in the morning. First, I, as I told you, a simple sentence has a subject, a verb, and it gives you a complete thought. So, what is the subject here? Who am I talking about here? Yes, I am talking about Scott. So, when I say Scott, so what is my verb here? What is he doing actually? What is the action mentioned in this sentence? Yes, it is plays. Scott plays. So, I have identified my subject, my verb, and now I am going to see whether it is it gives me a complete thought this sentence does it give me a complete thought yes it gives me a complete thought by telling that scott plays tennis in the morning it is complete the sentence gives you a complete meaning scott plays tennis 
when in the morning so it gives makes it a complete sentence so this is called a complete sentence so as you know a simple sentence has a subject a verb and then it gives you a complete thought so was the example easy to recognize a simple sentence yes then we have a compound sentence when i say compound sentence a compound sentence contains two independent clause and it is joined by a semicolon or a comma or a conjunction or a conjunction uh, it this compound sentence it is very easy to identify because it has two independent clause independent clauses can stand alone so remember that in mind so there will be two sentences which can stand alone which will be joined by a comma a semicolon or a conjunction as you know conjunctions like and but for nor or so yet so, yet so these are few of the words which are called as and considered as conjunctions okay okay let's, let's see an example for this compound sentence okay yes here my sentence is the pirate lost the treasure map but still he found the treasure the pirate lost the treasure map but still he found the treasure this is my sentence the pirate lost the treasure map the pirate lost the treasure map just think whether this sentence can stand on its own can it stand on its own yes it can stand on its own the pirate lost the treasure map so when i say the pirate lost the treasure map it is an independent clause okay and then but still he found the treasure is this an independent clause can the whole sentence can the whole thing make a an independent clause no it cannot so if i just leave the but still part alone and then if i see he found the treasure can this can these words stand on its own yes it can stand on its own he found the treasure it can be anything it can mean anything it can stand on its own so this is an independent clause so i'm using two independent clauses in this sentence and then i'm using but to combine both the sentence but still i'm using but still this phrase to combine both the sentence together the pirate lost the treasure map is my first independent clause and then he found the treasure is my second independent clause i'm using both these clauses to make a full sentence i'm using a conjunction here subordinating conjunction the word but to join these two sentences together finally we are going to see about complex sentences when i say complex sentences okay the first one when we saw about simple sentence a simple sentence had a subject a verb and it gave you a complete meaning and then we have a compound sentence which had two independent clause and a subordinating conjunction now we are going to see about complex sentences complex sentence is a group of words that has at least one independent clause and at least one subordinating clause one independent clause and one subordinating clause subordinating clause is none other than a dependent clause okay yes let's see an example for this if you stay up too late you might be tired tomorrow if you stay up too late you might be tired tomorrow this is my first sentence first i'm going to identify my independent clause then i'm going to identify my dependent clause then i'm going to look for my subordinating conjunction come let's find out what which phrase makes an independent clause or which sent which phrases can be put together to make a sentence come let's see it first first i need to look for my dependent clause when i say dependent clause which sentence makes a dependent clause here if you stay up too late you might be tired tomorrow so which part is my dependent clause dependent something which is dependent which needs some other support to stand yes if you stay up late if you stay up too late this phrase or this sentence does not give you a complete meaning it does not tell you what it is totally about if you stay up too late and it does not have a conclusion part in this okay my subordinating conjunction here in this sentence is if the word if it is in the beginning of the sentence but it is fine uh, like although until 
there are few conjunctions which can make which can start a sentence so subordinating conjunction used here is if you might be tired tomorrow you might be tired tomorrow it gives you a complete meaning you might be tired tomorrow gives you a complete meaning so this is my independent clause and if you stay up too late is my dependent clause and finally my subordinating conjunction used here is if i'm using the word if to start my sentence yes and then let's see another example i know i'm putting so much information into you but still let's see one more example to clear this out okay so the next example i'm going to use here is my sister cooked dinner because we were hungry my sister cooked dinner because we were uh, hungry i'm going to figure out my independent clause my dependent clause and my subordinating conjunction okay yes first let's see the first part of the sentence my sister cooked dinner my sister cooked dinner is it a complete sentence is this part can this part stand alone and make a complete sentence my sister cooked dinner yes you are right no it cannot stand on its own because it does not give you a complete meaning when it stands on it its own so this is my you are absolutely right it is my independent clause then because so what because what is the word because we saw this already i mentioned it in this video also yes it is a conjunction it is a subordinating conjunction which is used to join two sentences and then we have we were hungry can this part stand alone can this part stand alone just think yes it, so as you can see this part can stand alone we were hungry we were hungry it can mention any time it was it is already over and we were hungry that is the only information you get but this part can stand alone you are absolutely right so was it easy to make figure out that this sentence had an independent clause it had a dependent clause and it also had a subordinating conjunction which makes this as a complex sentence did you all understand yes okay let's have a recap a quick recap of what we learned before okay a simple sentence it is also called as an independent clause it should have a subject a verb and then it should give a complete thought express a complete thought then we have a compound sentence which a compound sentence should contain at least two independent clause which is joined by a semicolon a comma or a conjunction okay then finally we saw about complex sentences a complex sentence is very easy to identify and then it is a group of words that at least has independent clause and at least one subordinating clause finally we saw about complex sentences which is a complex sentence is a group of words that at least has one independent clause and at least one subordinating clause which is also known as a clause and then it is connected with a conjunction yes very good so this is easy to remember i want you to practice the exercise in page number 201 so that it will be easy for you to understand Okay, children. Hello, friends. It's time for you to learn something new. Okay, the word N O L. Have you heard of this? Yes. Many of you use this in your daily conversations or texts. Yes. N O L means laugh out loud. So this word was added officially to the Oxford Dictionary, Oxford English Dictionary, in the year 2011. Did you know that? I hope the fact was useful for you and it was funny too. Yes. So I want you to do your exercise and then get practice to what we learned today. Okay children? See you all again in the next class. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe and drink plenty of water. Bye children.